I saved it as a PNG file because PNG holds transparency. I'm going to use GIMP, so I'm going to open up GIMP. If you're using Photoshop or something similar, it's the same process. Anything that has layers. All right, file, open. Let's go to my desktop. There's our Valentine's and images folder. All right, there's my UVs. Click open. There they are. I'm going to open up a new, I'm going to create a canal in GIMP if you're using GIMP. Um, if you don't see this layers dialog box, and this is all you have, just go up to the dialogs menu, go down to layers, click it, and it opens up the layers dialog box. All right, we can go to layers and click on new layer there. And let's say this is the background, background. And we'll just say, it doesn't matter what we put here, we'll just put background color, click OK. I'm going to move this down underneath our, our UV. This is our UVs right here, I believe. Which one's our UVs? Let's do this. Let's make this black just to see. Okay. So I'm going to rename this to UVs. All right, this is our background. All I did was I just selected the layer and I used the paint bucket tool to paint that black. But now I'm going to change it to red because we want our heart to be red. So not too bright red, but maybe something about like that. Just click in there. Just make sure you have your the right background selected. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. All right, there we go. I like that. All right, I'm going to create a new layer. So layer, new layer. Let's call this one text, or we'll just say, yeah, text one. Most like transparency. Okay, I'll make sure that layer is, is right above my background layer. All right, so the text layer is selected. Over here on the left, I'm going to select the big A, which is a text tool. Let's make our text color white. And let's see, let's make it a bold font. It's default sans, sans or sans. I'll just check the bold one. And let's just click on here and we'll start with the top. And let's type in happy Valentine's. We'll just say happy Valentine's. I will say happy Valentine's Day. I'll sit there debating whether I want to just put Happy Valentine's because it's actually not Valentine's Day yet. Okay, let's increase the size of our font. And let's go down here and let's change it to where all the letters are centered. All right, let's make this a little bigger. Maybe not too big. And I'm going to click on the Move tool. Put my cursor over one of the letters. Now this is... Uh, if you don't put on the letter, you'll end up moving something else. So just make sure your cursor is right on the letter. And now you can click and drag it. And that's actually pretty good right there. Probably you can go a little bigger. So I'm going to click on the A again. And I'm going to click on the H. Just make sure we're affecting those words. All right, that's pretty good. I've got mine at 58 right now. Use the Move tool. Let's kind of recenter that up. All right, so there's our Happy Valentine's Day is done. Now let's do it for the bottom half. We'll just write something different. So I'm just going to click on here and let's say from Fresh Maya. And let's center that. Okay, it's already centered. Everything, we just need to move it. There we go. So let's try that out and see how that works. And if we have to, we can always adjust our UVs inside Maya to make these letters a little bigger, a little smaller, depending on how they come out. And we can always come back here and adjust this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a file, save as. And let's save this as heart 
architecture.xcf, which is the native file for GIMP. And let's save this to, I oh, will save it to the same folder. Save. All right, now I'm going to select the UVs layer. I'm going to delete that layer. I'm going to go to image, flatten image. Now we just have one layer, file, save as. And I'm going to change it to a JPEG, JPG. And I'm going to put this into the source images folder. So let's kind of go back up, go into the source images folder, and let's save it in there. Save. 100% quality. Save. All right, we can close this out. Let's go into Maya. Okay, this is our checkerboard pattern. Let's open up our Hypershade back up. So Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. All right, here's our Lambert 2, but let's go ahead and give it a better name. So I'm going to right click on it, go down to Rename, and let's type this. I'm going to name mine SHDR underscore checker, checkered. So shader underscore checkered. All right, now let's create another material for our heart. I'm just going to click on Lambert. Put another Lambert down here. Let's go ahead and rename it right off the bat. Let's name this shader underscore, um, I'll just say heart. All right, let's click on a file because we're going to use a file for it. So middle mouse, drag the file over to our heart and plug it into the color, just like we did on our checkerboard pattern. Okay, let's double click the file node, double click it, open up the attributes. In the attribute editor, you'll see the image name far right. We're going to click on that folder again. And there is our heart texture. Select it, click open, and there it is. All right, so next thing to do is add it to our heart. And again, you can just middle mouse drag it from anywhere on here. Just middle mouse drag it onto the heart, and it applies it. We don't need that anymore. And let's see how this turned out. So there's the back and there's the front. Now it looks like the front, we need to raise the letters up some. Or it looks like it could use, could be a little higher. So we can either do that two ways. We can go back into our GIMP to the texture and we can just raise those letters up some. Or uh, we can just go to our UV texture editor. And we can select these top shelf, just like one of the UVs. Control, right mouse, to shell. That way it selects all those. And we could move that down to raise it up. The only problem with the only thing I don't like about that is now we've got two shells overlapping, which is okay, but it's preferable to have them not overlapping. Um, there we go. And actually, you know what? Just to do this the right way, let's go ahead and put this back up a little bit. And let's go ahead and open up. I mean, I got to teach you the right way, right? <laughs> but it's okay to take shortcuts every now and then. All right, let's go back into our images folder. All right, there's our GIMP file. I'm just going to open that up. And hopefully we'll be able to raise our letters up in here. All right, so let's select our layer with the Happy Valentines. Take our Move tool. And we're just going to move that up a little bit. There we go, so it's that easy. Now let's get rid of our UV layer again. Select it, delete, image, flatten, file, save as. Let's go into our source images folder. And I'm just gonna save it over that same texture, heart texture. Save, replace, yes. 100% quality, save. All right, let's close this back out because I'm pretty sure it will look okay now. All right, let's open up our Hypershade back up. Rendering Editors, Hypershade. There's our heart shader. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on the input connections up here. You can do input and output if you want. I'm just going to click on inputs. Now we can see our file node. I'm going to double click it. Here's our attributes for it on the right. Uh, right there is our image. But this time there's a button. We're just going to click on this button that says reload. And that should move it up. So now let's close this out. And there's our Happy Valentines. All nice and centered on there. The only thing left to do is do, to do a render. Alright, I would make this another part, but 
uh, it's not going to take long to render this out. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's well, we'll make another part just to keep these videos from getting way too long. All right, um, let's go ahead and do a, a final save, and I'll see you in part three for the rendering.